Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 1724, okay? So it says the door has a weight of 200 pounds and a center of gravity at G. Determine how far the door moves in two seconds, starting from rest. If a man pushes on it at C, so over here, uh, with a horizontal force F equals to 30 pounds. Also, find the vertical reactions at the rollers A and B. So uh, what we're given basically to, to determine is how far will this door move, so this entire door move, by the force that these guys apply. And besides that, we want to know, well, what is the vertical reaction that these two points in here are, are doing to the door, okay? So as always, what I want to do first is let's just write out our givens. So we have that the door has a weight of 200 pounds. So we got equal to the weight equal to 200 pounds. We have a center of gravity G. How far the door moves in two seconds. So we know that the time that we're interested on is two seconds. Okay. We know that the force F is equal to 30 pounds. And that's about it. So how are we going to solve basically this problem? So in order to solve this problem, well, we're starting a chapter that's kinematics motion, right? So what we're going to do, linear kinematic motion, so in order to solve the final distance, we're going to go back into our initial kinematic equations where we have the position S, I'm going to call it SF for final, is going to be equal to our initial position plus the initial velocity times the time plus one half our acceleration times the time square. Okay, so this is how we're going to find this final position. Now, something to take into account is that, hey, how far does this move if we're starting at rest? So we are at rest. What does that imply? Well, that implies that our initial position is zero and that our initial velocity is zero. Therefore, our equation becomes way more simplified and it's just one half the acceleration times the time square, okay? And how are we gonna find this acceleration? Well, since things now are moving, right? We're in dynamics, not in statics. What we can do is find the summatory of forces and then solve for our acceleration. But before we can do that, what we're going to do is our friend free body diagram, okay? So we have our free body diagram and what I'm going to do in here is just I'm going to draw our door. And we're going to displace all the forces that we have. Well, we, of course, have the force of the guy over here. That is 30 pounds, right? We also have the weight of this door. That is a G. So I'm going to call it W. We have the force that the rollers are applying to the door at A. So I'm going to call this F of A. And we also have the force of the roller B. Okay. So let me move this down a little bit just so we have more space. The only thing that now we're missing are the distances. So we had that the distance from the floor to where the man is applying the force is three feet. The distance from the floor to my center of gravity is equal to five feet. We have the distance overall of the entire wall, which is equal to, of this door, I'm sorry, is equal to 12 feet. We also have the distance between A and B to be equal to 12 feet, or specifically six feet from here to here. So we got six feet, and we got another six feet from here to here, okay? so. Those are all the dimensions we need for our free body diagram. So what we can do is to start with our summatory of forces. Now, which summatory of forces do we want? Well, my forces are being applied left to right. So I'm going to start with my forces in the X directions and my first assumption that I'm gonna find my answer like that. So um, I'm going to assume that going to the right is positive. So we're going to have the summatory of forces in the x direction, they have to be equal well, to the mass times my acceleration in the x direction, okay? 
So that way we can find this acceleration. Then what forces do we have in the x direction? Well, we have these 30 pounds going to the right. That means we have positive 30. And that's all we have, these 30 pounds. Then we're going to equal it to the mass. Well, we don't know the mass, we know the weight. So what we have to do is take this 200 pounds, convert it into weight. That's not a problem since we are in the um, English unit. We're going to have these 200 pounds, these 200 pounds divided by our gravitational acceleration, which is 32.2. Okay. And this is multiplied by my acceleration in X, which is what we're trying to find. So if we solve for my acceleration in the X direction, we're going to have that this is equal to 30 multiplied by 32.2 and all of this divided by 200. Okay. We're going to plug this into our calculator and our final answer will be equal to 4.83 and the units should be feet per square feet. Okay. So just like that, we found out our first answer for this problem. Now, what we need to do is find the reactions. Well, actually, I'm sorry, this is not our first um, answer. Our first answer will be when we plug that acceleration into this equation. So, sorry about that. So, we're going to have, hey, this final position is going to be equal to, so we're going to have one half multiplied by my acceleration, which is 4.83 multiplied by the time square, which the time that we're interested in is two seconds. Okay. Now we're going to put this into our calculator and this will give us a total of 9.66 feet. Okay. And this time we actually got our first answer. Okay. So that's our first answer. The second thing we need to find is, Hey, what are the vertical reactions at a and b so in order to find that well let's try to do some material forces in the y direction um and also before i say i do that just so people don't get confused why did i just assume that these in here is my only acceleration and that's the only place where i'm moving well we have these rollers are a and b that are not allowing me to move in the vertical direction so therefore the only direction that we can move of course is towards my right or left so knowing that let's go and find our reactions at point a and b so what i'm going to do is a summatory of forces in the y direction i'm going to assume that going up is positive and this has to be equal to um well as i said before we don't have an acceleration in the y direction so in this case is equal to zero Okay, so what do we have in the y direction? Well, we have, so I'm going to write it over here so we can see our free body diagram. So we're going to have a FA plus FB, my two reactions, minus my weight, got to be equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to move this equation. I'm going to move the weight on the other side of the equation because it's the only known value that I have which is 200 pounds. Now, we did some material forces in the X, some material forces in the Y, and we still have two unknowns, right? F of A and F of B. So therefore we have to do a summatory of moments. And what I'm going to do is, well, in order to know the summatory of moments, then I'm going to use either a point in A or a point in B in order to eliminate one of those two forces when I do my um, summatory of moments. I'm sorry. So I'm going to assume that going counterclockwise is positive. And we're going to do, hey, the summatory of forces. A moment, I'm sorry again, around my point A. And this has to be equal to the summatory of the moment of my kinematic moment about point A. Okay. So what do we have in here? So let's write all my moments. So if I'm holding here, I'm going to make this a green dot. This is where I'm holding. These four steady pounds are going to try to move my door 
in the counter clock, uh, counterclockwise rotation. So we're going to have my 30 pounds. Oops, let's do it in black. So we got our 30 pounds multiplied by the distance. Well, what's the distance between this 30 pound force and my point A? That's going to be 12 minus this 3. That will give me a total of 9. So we got 9. Okay, so that goes for that force. Then we also have the weight. Now the weight will try to, if I'm holding here, will try to rotate me clockwise. Therefore, that's a negative. So we got minus the weight, which is 200 pounds, times the distance. Well, the distance is 6 feet. So we got times 6. And then finally, we have our force FB. So that will try to go counterclockwise, which we're assuming positive. So we got plus my force FB multiplied by the distance, and in this case, it's 12, okay? Now, this is gonna be equal or equal to, basically, so in order for us to better understand it, we have that this is equal to the mass times the acceleration of my center of gravity times the distance, okay? Now, so we have that the mass of this door is, again, 200 pounds divided by 32.2, Multiply by our acceleration, our center of gravity, as we assumed again yes, uh, last time, we have that the acceleration of this door is completely in the x direction, therefore it's the same as A of x. So we have in here 4.83. Multiply by the distance. Now, which distance is this? So if there is something that we have to understand is that, hey, this is my point of gravity right over here and I'm moving towards my right therefore my distance has to be from that line of action to my point A and as we can see it's going to be this 12 feet minus this 5 feet and that will give me a total of 7 feet okay so that gives me a total of 7 feet I'm going to solve for my force B that's going to be equal to well, we're going to have the same thing that we have on the right side, which is 200 divided by my 32.2 multiplied by my 4.83 multiplied by 7. Then we're going to pass my first term as negative because it was positive. I move it to the other side, minus 30 multiplied by 9. Similarly, but in opposite sense, this negative 200 becomes positive 200 times 6. And then we are going to have all of this divided by 12, okay? And we're going to plug this into our calculator. And this will give me a total of 95 pounds, okay? So this will be one of our other answers. And finally, in order to solve our final response, would be to plug f of b in this equation so we have that f a our reaction at a is going to be equal to 200 minus 95 and this will be equal to 105 pounds okay and we just find our final answer so just like that we solved the problem i hope you guys uh like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one